Hey guys, um, I'm just gonna give you like a little tour of, I guess you could call it my reptile room. It's my room uh, I live in, and um, so yeah, this, I don't have very many reptiles, but I'll just show you what I have. Anyway, starting over here with the crested gecko tank. I have, hold on, let me do this. I love these exoterras, I like these doors that open. And I have two crested geckos, babies, one's right there. The camera is not focusing, I don't know why. But there's a baby right there. And there should be one somewhere in there. I can see it, but I don't know if you can see it on the camera because it's not focusing. It's really annoying. Anyway, this is the crested gecko's tank, and that's um, about it. Well, I have a live plant here. They really like these live plants, I like to hide on them and stuff. And it makes your tank look a lot better with live plants. I'm gonna add a waterfall when they get bigger, so it'll look really cool, fog and everything. Next, we'll move over to the leopard gecko. This is my first reptile. And it pretty much got me into the hobby. And he's in there sleeping. There's a little moss hide thing. And he gets a little rowdy at night. I don't know what he does all night, but there's a lot of things. And he knocked the plant over. So, yeah, that's just the leopard gecko's tank. I got two lights up there. I'll move over to my bearded dragons. This was the second thing I got at the Sacramento Reptile Expo. And these bearded dragons are awesome. They are just... I love bearded dragons. They're just very handleable, handleable and everything. And they're both females. Crimson and Tide. And they got pretty good colors. But the camera... It's just a regular Canon camera that's not focusing. I don't know why. This isn't the camera I usually use. But they have a 40 gallon breeder tank, 125, 120 watt UVB light, and it's a pretty good setup. Um, I have this paper towel with all this tape down because I put sand in here and they were like looking at it and I didn't want to risk anything. So I just put paper towel back over and I have to tape the side so that they don't get under the sand or anything. It looks bad, but it's for the safety. Anyway, um, that's all my reptiles, um, so that's about it.